G'day Forts fans, this is Dev Beeman. This is an introductory video on the Forts map editor. We're going to be taking you through the basics, we're going to create some ground, some forts, make a symmetrical 2v2 map and test it out in multiplayer. So first let's go to the map editor and you'll see at the top there are two tabs, create and edit. Under the edit tab you can create a copy of an existing map if you like. Today we're going to be creating a new map based on the canyon theme. Give it a name, tutorial 2v2, create. Now this screen allows you to force on mods if you like. In this case I'm going to turn off everything. And here you can see the map is completely blank except for two lines in the middle. These are the zero points of the horizontal and vertical axes. In the top left corner there's some extra info including the cursor position, the undo level and current selection. At the bottom you'll see that there's no technology tab. That's because we've condensed it into the devices tab just to save space. There's a new terrain tab, surfaces tab and props tab as well. So to start let's go to the train tab and create a new block. And you do that just by clicking counter, uh, in a clockwise way. Now you can left click to select the nodes that you've created. And you can control A to select all and then click and drag one of the joints to move it around. Now to give one of these a surface, let's left click on that one there and click on the hard surface icon and you can see it's added a surface to that ground. Now this block was made for Team 1 and you can see by default that it has support for foundations and mines which is fine because that's what we want. Now to deselect that block you right click in empty space and then let's select blank and go to train and let's just create another block nearby which will make up some of the world. Now you don't want blocks to overlap are the ones that can be collided with anyway and now let's use uh, hold shift and drag to select multiple ground nodes and then press the grass texture to add grass to it. There you go. Now the block was also created for Team 1 with support for foundations and mines but that's not what we want. So we press 3 to assign it to the Any Team and then press Alt F to disable foundations and Alt M to disable mine support. And this just means that any team can connect ropes to the ground, but they can't build foundations or mines. Alright, next step is to make the starting fort for this side. You can just left click on the ground to start building a new fort from scratch. And build up into the sky. And you can see here that I'm not using the extrusion. I'm just building links directly and that's because physics is not enabled by default and therefore we get nice perfect squares by snapping to the grid. Now go to devices, click on the reactor and find a spot for it. There we go, got a reactor. Add some storage, a couple of mines, and a machine gun, traditional st starting defense, and then armor up. Of course you can do this however you like, but this is just a pretty standard starting fort. All right, now we've got a fort. What we can do is start uh, duplicating this for the first side can hold shift and drag 
the left mouse button to select both of those original blocks. <clears throat> Control C to copy, deselect by right clicking in space and then moving the mouse to paste those blocks elsewhere. Now you can move that into a position that you like and then select one of these and just join it up to the first one and then you can add some more nodes just to fill out the space and remember to set the edge for those uh, blank edges um, otherwise you'll have no effects when projectiles hit. Now to copy a fort you left click one of the joints control C to copy right click to deselect move the mouse control V to paste grab one of the foundations and snap it into place holding M using the grid there we go that's one side almost done now to create for side 2 pretty much do the same except we can press H to mirror and then move that into, into place. Now these buildable areas need to be turned into Team 2 by pressing 2. Press 2 again. And there we have it. Now copy one of these forts. Control C. Right click in space. Paste. H to mirror horizontally. Move it into place and then press Alt 2 to convert it into Team 2. Now I'll copy that one and paste it, move it into place. Now we've got Team 2 set up. Let's just bridge this gap. Create a new block. Go to blank surface, fill it in. I'm just going to expand the edges outwards. And this means that the player has a bit of space to move their camera. Otherwise, you feel a bit claustrophobic. Okay, so the next step is to set the world extents and that's done by setting the mouse position to where you want it and then press control and arrow in the direction you want to set the, cursor, the uh, extent. So in this case it's control right arrow, set one for control down arrow, control left arrow and we want a bit of height so we can see projectiles go up and down. Something like that. Now you can test this by going to materials or devices and moving the camera around to see if you're happy with how that feels. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now you've noticed that I've overlapped the extents and the ground and that's because if you're at the edge of the screen and the camera shakes, you can see a gap down the side. So you just have a little skirt running around the outside. Next step is to set camera positions. So you can use plus and minus to fine tune the zoom level and then press control numpad three in the terrain tab and that sets the overview camera position. You can see there's a faint box with overview written in the corner of it now. Now we can do the same for Team 1. Press Control Numpad 1, that sets Team 1's camera and then without zooming in or out move over to Team 2 and press 
control numpad 2 and you can see we've got team 1 and team 2 set up you can just press spacebar to zip around and that will um, allow you to test the camera positions next step is to settle the forts so if you don't do this the forts will wobble around a bit uh, at the start of the match so in order to do this you press control space and you can see the forts wobbling around you can speed this process up a little by pressing control and then numpad plus a few times you can see them settling down and then control numpad minus to just return to normal speed and that's it control space to stop physics again and then save and quit let's go back go to multiplayer host a new private game just to test find our map tutorial 2v2 select uh, let's put us on co-op so we can see all the forts hit start there we have it a 2v2 team deathmatch map in forts I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial hopefully I'll be bringing more to you bye